Hello, welcome to this second ESO uh, lesson of physics and chemistry. Uh, today we will speak about measurement, magnitudes and units. What is measurement? Well, measurement is means to find a number that shows the amount of something. For example, I want to measure this eraser. To measure the eraser, I will take an instrument to measure it. In this case, I will use a ruler. And, uh, well, if I measure the length of uh, the eraser, I can see 11, 11 centimeters. I will write it down. Length equals 11 centimeters. When I measure something, I compare, for example, if I measure the length of the eraser, I compare the total length of the eraser with another length as, that I use as the standard. This, uh, this uh, length that I use as a standard is the unit. In this case, the unit I choose is the centimeter. Okay? Well, I've measured property of this object, the length. This property of an object that can be measured is what we call a magnitude. So, a magnitude is a property of a body that, I, that we can measure. Um, we express then this, this is the magnitude. We express the measurement with a number followed by a unit. What is a unit? As I told you, it is a standard that uh, we use for measurement. All right, the quantity that we use as a standard uh, of measurement. Look, uh, not all the properties of a body are magnitudes. Uh, for example, length is a magnitude because we can quantify it. We can express this property, the length, with a number followed by a unit. But there are uh, other properties, for example, the beauty or uh, ugliness, eh, that we cannot express with a number. They are not magnitudes. Well, uh, what are the characteristics of a magnitude? A magnitude or classification can be a fundamental or can be derived. Derived. A magnitude is fundamental when we when we don't need another magnitude to express this magnitude. And uh, a magnitude is derived when we need another magnitude to express this one. And a unit. The properties of a unit are three. A unit uh, can or must be constant. It must be universal. And it must be easy to reproduce. A unit must be constant. It must have always the same value. For example, I cannot use the palm. Hmm? This, uh, this is a palm. I cannot use the palm as a, as a unit because uh, different people have different value of palm, okay? So, it is not a constant unit, we cannot, we cannot use this as a unit. It must be universal, it must be uh, a unit that must be known by everybody in order that uh, everybody can know it and use it. Right? If I if we use uh, a unit here in Murcia, we might use another unit for, for example for less in Madrid. Uh, it is not useful. So uh, 
scientists uh, come to an agreement uh, to, to use uh, all of them the same uh, units. Uh, later, we will study the, the international system of units. And easy to reproduce. That means that uh, we must be able to build uh, instruments eh, that everybody can use eh, for measurement. All right? Well, and that is all.